You will start. What do you want to know? What do you think I want to know? You're standing there with another man's baby inside you. And not just any man, a priest. Our local priest. So-called friend of the family, the man who married our daughter. Do you want me to go on? Because I could. I want to know when, where, how often, and why. A month or so ago. In his house. I haven't kept count. That often, then. Bloody stuff! How far gone are you? A month. You missed out the why. Peter. Have I done something wrong? No. Because if I have, I'm damned if I know what it is. You haven't. Then what? Do you love him? Stupid question, really. You must do. Do you? In a way, yes. What way? More than me? Peter! Or less? Because I have a right to know. You have a house, a family, a man who worships the bloody ground you walk on, in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's the very least years, I deserve maybe. a wife. Maybe I've got to know you too well. What's that supposed to mean? Or is it just a clever way of saying you're fed up to the back teeth with. Do you really think I'm going to hit you? Because God knows I bloody feel like it. I would have never raised a finger against a woman in my life, and I'm not going to start now. And you're the woman who knows me too well. Shame on you. Didn't even have the guts to tell me yourself. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Like you spilled a cup of tea? Oh, I forgot to post a letter. Sorry, don't even come near. Where's Emma? Sent her out. Are you leaving? I've got to go to work. Are you leaving me? I don't know what I'm doing. So you might. I've just seen a couple of badgers having it off. I thought I told you to stay outside! I live here! Broad daylight, too. I thought they were night creatures. I've, 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 I've got to go out. I'll see you later. for a walk. At least I think they were badgers. What's that? Badgers. You. Emma. Him! I could and I did. Are you leaving Dad? Emma, please. Yes or no? I don't know. He'll fall apart if you do. Look, Emma, your dad knows. Now, if Matthew comes round, he'll kill him. I hope he does. Please, just warn him. I'll stop by later on. For the reason I think you're here. Perhaps 
this isn't the right place. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. May the Lord help you to confess your sin. Well, whatever it is, you'll have to spit it out. It won't go any further. No. It's bad. No sin is so bad that it cannot be absolved. You already know. You say it. Uh, I made a girl have sex with me against her will. You raped her? We all did. if you lie tomorrow. You have to speak out for the sake of another human being, for the sake of your own conscience, your own peace of mind. No. Then how on earth can I absolve you from your sins? Hmm? However terrible, however frightening the consequences of what we have done, we must confront the truth. I can't. Not just before God, but before our own fellow men. Pete! Mum says, Mum says, don't come near the house. Stay away from her. Mum says? Or Emma says? My dad knows. What? When did you last go to confession? None of your business. Go on, when? Just piss off and leave us alone, all right? Look, just because you're my brother. Piss isn't... off! Corkscrew. Has anyone spotted the corkscrew? I think you'll find you had it last. You seem very calm. Why shouldn't I be? It's not too late, you know. To do what? To call the whole thing off. You make it sound like a party. Anyway, is it is. Corkscrew? You'll be glad when it's all over. I know I will. Have you thought what you're going to wear? <sighs> Christ! I'm only trying to help. Yeah, well, it's a bit late for that. You need to make the right impression. I am looking for the corkscrew. Here! It's on the table right under your nose. Now she tells me. Yeah, well, you know, I was scared you might want to stab me in the back with it. Oh, hope to God she wears something sensible. Let's just get this over with, shall we? Any charging should be done for indecent exposure. I was going to wish you luck. You don't need it, really. I mean, all you've got to do is tell the truth. I'm with the bride. You're with the bridegroom, remember? 
I'm sorry. Yeah, so am I. For not believing you. About what? About everything. Everything? No, don't worry about it. I'm used to it. It follows, then, that you're not here to decide on whether or not sexual intercourse took place. That fact is admitted and is not an issue in this case. What is, and maybe the only issue for you to decide, is whether or not Lucy Archer consented to sexual intercourse. And in considering that issue, I must ask you to resist the temptation to sit in judgment over the sexual mores of Lucy Archer. She is not in the dock. She is not the accused. I would simply invite you to remember that be it your wife, your daughter, or your sister, any woman is entitled to say no and mean no. I suppose I'm the last to know. The Crown's case what? is that Lucy Archer did not offer her consent, that she indicated her no. lack of consent quite clearly, and that these three defendants chose to Please. ignore her. Take the Bible in your right hand. About Emma. And repeat after me. She doesn't know about the baby. I swear by Almighty God. I swear by Almighty God. That the evidence that I give. That the evidence that I give. Shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Well, then let me repeat them for you. If I miss this shot, I take Billy out and screw him. Did you say those words? I might have. And did you mean them? Not specially. Then why did you say them? I say a lot of things I don't mean. Then again, I might have. Might have what? Screwed him. It doesn't mean that I wanted to be raped. What were you wearing at the time? The same that I'm wearing now, more or less. Is that a problem? Uh, Miss Archer. I wasn't looking for justice then, any more than I'm looking for a shag now. Miss Archer, try to confine yourself to answering questions that are put to you. And if you can, refrain from going off at a tangent. Sexual intercourse? Yes. To which you consented? You could say. I'm sorry? You could say. You could say? Yes or no? Yes. So, prior to the alleged incident, you had in fact already had a sexual liaison with one of the three defendants? No. I'm sorry, I distinctly heard you say... Two. Oh, two. Oh, I beg your pardon. And it wasn't a liaison. It was a shag. Yes, well, whatever terminology you care to use. Shag. Miss Archer, I'm not quite clear what point it is you're trying to make. That they're guilty. Then, if I may say so, you're going about it in a very strange way. Continue. So, Miss Archer, in your own words, you've shagged Pete Quinlan, you've shagged Jed Hodson, you've offered to shag Billy Jennings. Tell me, have you in fact also shagged Danny Cavanna? No. Your Honour, I wonder where this line of questioning is getting us. But I've made love to him. Yes, I tend to agree with you. I think perhaps this would be a convenient moment for a short adjournment. All right. Danny. Hi, Lise. No. That makes two of us, then. She is lying, isn't she? No. About you. Why, what did she say? Mr. Cabana. What did she say? Please.
John. you properly. It's all over the papers, you know. <laughs> You're quite a celebrity. And it's not over yet. They still can't prove it was you. What can I do to make you feel better? I know. If a job's worth doing, it's worth finishing. I was thinking about it on the bus on the way here. And you don't have to worry about a thing. What else? Oh, yes, guess what? I'm living with a lesbian. Distressed. Yeah. Is that your word? Close enough. And that's what you thought at the time? Yeah. So what did you say when you saw her distressed? I can't remember. I wonder whether Mr. Kavanagh could be shown his statement? If you'd cast your eyes down to line 17 on the second page, I think you'll find that your exact words were... You look like you've been shagged through a hedge backwards. Yeah, well, she did, yeah. You admit saying those words? Am I off? That's what you told the police, you said. Tell me, would you like to be shagged through a hedge backwards? Why are you offing him? <laughs> Mr Barnes, I don't quite understand the relevance of this line of questioning. Well, my point, Your Honour, is that under certain circumstances, it might not be the most unpleasant thing in the world. In which case, the remark could be applied to someone, meaning that they seem to be in a state of euphoria. By the way, it's not the most sympathetic of things to say. Tell me, what is the exact nature of your relationship with Lucy Archer? She's a mate. A mate, meaning a friend. Or something more than a friend. A friend. Have you ever had sex with Lucy Archer? What? Have you, shall we say, since the alleged incident, had a sexual relationship with Lucy Archer? What's this got to do with anything? Just answer the question, Mr. Cavana. Yeah. Sorry, have I come at a bad time? No. Quite sure. Positive. She's on a special day. Oh, yeah, right. Meat and two veg. It's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought so. Either your cock gets bigger every time you lie, or you fancied a rotten. Knowing you, it's probably both. I'll see you in the bar later. Ask her if you like. She'll tell you. And? And then she said, who's first? Yeah. And what did you say? Nothing. Why not? Did you actively want to go last? No. Have you participated in many gangbangs prior to this one? No. Then <laughs> why were you so keen to go last? Did you not feel, for want of a better way of putting it, that you were drawing the short straw? Or perhaps it was an act of chivalry? The truth is that you were simply reluctant to go at all. What if 
I was. Because you were not taking part in a gangbang. You were taking part in a rape. And deep down you knew that what you were doing was fundamentally wrong. No. Then why did you grab hold of her? I didn't. Well, how do you account for the fact that we have medical evidence, which the jury have already seen, indicating bruises to the upper arms and legs? Are you seriously expecting this jury to believe that Lucy Archer never, at any stage, voiced or signalled her opposition to what was happening to her? Mr. Quinlan, if at the moment of the act itself you were at some level conscious of the awfulness of what you were doing, then now is the moment to rediscover that humanity. To be brave enough, strong enough to take one small step toward righting the wrong that has been committed. I repeat, did Lucy Archer at any point, in any way, indicate her opposition to what was happening to her? Your Honor. Day of the wedding, the moment I got pregnant, no. Seven year itch, it's crap. The truth is, he was always like that. He's in his jeans. I remember thinking that walking down the aisle, looking at him. One eye on me and one eye on the bridesmaid's bum. One of the reasons I fancied him. I can't remember the others. And I thought I could train him, I suppose. It's not too much to ask, is it? Not at all. No. <clears throat> if they can't be faithful, then they have to face the consequences. I think it's time for another drink. Same again. Will the defendants please rise? Will the foreman please stand? Will you answer the following question, yes or no? Have you reached a verdict upon which you are all agreed? Yes. On the single count on this indictment, do you find Jed Hudson guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. On the same count on this indictment, do you find the second defendant, Billy Jennings, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. On the same count on this indictment, do you find Peter Quinlan guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Yes! Can't you? Tell what? Of course you can. Got x ray eyes. What are you talking about? I'm wearing her undies. Whose? <laughs> Simone's, as if you didn't know. It's funny when you start to wear someone else's clothes, you feel like you are them almost. You know. Feel the same feelings, think the same thoughts, want the same things. Oh, message from Ruth. Got bored of waiting, went home, go screw yourself. Seems a bit of a waste.
At least you've got someone to go home to. Well, it depends who that someone is, doesn't it? You know what I miss most with John away? Doing my knots. Knots? Mm -hmm. Bowline, sheep shank, reef. You name it, I can tie it. He never got free, you know. Not once. No matter how hard he tried. So she was telling the truth. What? Did you make love or was it just a shag? Does it matter? You tell me. Well? I, I can't answer that. You already have. Well, well, a very satisfactory result. How much is it? No, don't look. L Lucy. Something the matter. Well, it's all gone quiet. Well, I'm not spoiling the party, am I? Lucy, you should go home. What? In a fast car with a blanket over my head? I'm sorry, but if I can stand in there and listen to these three lying through their teeth and... Steady. You bastards. You bastards. Come on, <laughs> Bit the wrong horse this time. He's the right horse. It was the wrong result. Should have said earlier on. What? That you were feeling left out. Could have made it a four-hander. <laughs> 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 I'll put you in a non-smoking room. No, smoking. Smoking? Yes. Oh, oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, no, you didn't say. My mind reading isn't what it used to be. I don't suppose the gentleman said non-smoking either, Cecil. True. Thank you for pointing that out. It's my fault, as usual. Uh, bathroom or shower? Yes, please. It's a choice. Oh, sorry, um, shower. No, actually, on second thoughts, um, bath. Room 46. Thank you. Is that the best you can do? I thought I did rather well, considering I felt like removing several of his limbs. I'm as sorry as you are that our daughter's turned out the way she has. I'm even sorry that she chose to make a fool of herself in quite the way she has, but the fact is it's happened, and you'd better learn to live with it. After all, there are only two things you need to be able to do in reception. One is to help the guests, and the other is to do it politely. At the moment, you seem quite incapable of doing either. Is that so? Good afternoon. Learn to live with it. We have a guest, Cecil. I was wondering... Stupid, stupid woman. If you could tell me the quickest... Excuse me. I am talking to my wife. Cecil! Do you understand absolutely nothing? She wasn't the one who made a fool of herself. We were. Her mother and father. The ones who made her what she is. The ones who were there for her when it mattered. Or not, as the case may be. I'll come back. Why don't you just piss off? I think I need a drink. I'm so sorry. Uh, he's been under a lot of pressure. How can I help you? So, you got off? Yeah. Huh, doesn't look like it. Oh, it's, uh, it's nothing. That's good. He got off. I was there. Where's Mum and Dad? I've no idea. She won't forget that in a hurry. Who? The girl, the archer girl. Vindictive little bitch. 
Just goes to show you, you go around telling lies that catches up with you in the end. I don't want to talk about it. You still haven't told me. What? Whether you're going to leave me or not. I still don't know yet. I wish to God I were ten years old again. Why? The only thing worrying me then was which pocket to keep my pen knife in. Is it a, a boy or a girl? No idea. I don't have to have it. Yes, you bloody well do. You've got a sister who'd give her right arm to be in your shoes. It's not about she. I feel like blaming the baby. Listen, whether you wind up with me, Matthew, or Mr. Bloody Blobby, you're having that baby. I hope it's a girl. I don't think I could go through that lot again. Peter. It's all right. Please. I said it's all right. I don't want anything to happen. No, I'm not going to touch him. Because I don't want to have to stand here and watch the two of you beat the living daylights out of me. I said oh, I'm not going to lay a finger on him. Look, Peter. Oh, I'm Peter! Oh, what? You can screw my wife. I can't kick you in the bollocks. You're a disgrace to the church, you're a disgrace to the village, you're a disgrace to yourself. And if you set foot in my house again, I swear to God, I'll break your bloody neck. Right, he's all yours. You're right. Peter! Take him or leave him. That's sorted something out. What? There'll be no brothers and sisters. I was, I was coming over to see you. Why? I've done it, Benny. Done what? I saw the bishop today. Why? Well, I said I would. Come away with me, Benny, please. Oh, Matthew. Uh, I'll be a free man. At least I will be. Please. And if you're worried that I'll resent you for taking me away from the priesthood, there's nothing It's not could... about you. I've lived with Peter for over 20 years. 20 years! It's not like choosing one pair of shoes over another. Is that you saying no? It's me saying... I need more time. Time? I can't just jump on your white horse and gallop away. I promise you one thing. You won't fall off. Everything all right? This has been handed in. It was found halfway up a tree on the A66. Is it yours? Yes. Thank you. I won't ask. It's all the lies we've heard